Hey guys, welcome back to Kit Mittens Crochet. This is Carmen, of course. And I thought I would, it's just been a long time since I've done a kitty chat. And so I wanted to hop on here and just talk about some of the things that I have made lately and some of my upcoming projects that I'm really excited about. So, um, you know, because I haven't done a kitty chat in a long time. I've been doing the suggestive crochet, which I love. And I'm thinking of also doing a um, cryptid crochet segment where we do like Mothman and Nessie and Kentucky Hellhound and, you know, all the cryptids. Um, but for this week, I thought it's been a long time since I've done a kitty chat. So I'm... I'm going to hop on here and do that. Um, so I just want to show you, I have three things here that I've finished. And now two of them I have already shown in different things. Um, but I'm going to, because some people might not have seen that. Like, okay, Master Shifun. And guys, everything I show here, I you know how horrible I am at pronouncing names. So I will write them on the screen. And I will also, of course, include the links. These are all bought patterns, and I believe all the patterns that I will be discussing will be on Etsy. Okay? So, all the links for that will be in the description below. But I'm just not even going to try to say it because I'm terrible at it. Okay? So, we're just going to forget that. But, okay, so this is Master Shifun. I think that's what his name is. He is, and there's some pins still in his back, so I'm going to get those out real quick. He is from Kung Fu Panda, of course. He is the master ninja. Like that. Um, and here is the back of him. And what on earth? I've got some little... Sorry, guys. I've got some little fuzzies on him there. Um, and I'm already seeing... I'm going to have to go back and fix this. Look at this hole I've made. I can fix that, though. No big deal. But here he is. His tail here. And I just love his beard. And there's another on pin. You guys know how prepared I am. I'm always prepared. I, I come on here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, guys. Okay. But <laughs> he was really fun. I love the beard and his crazy eyebrows and his ear hair. How cute is this? But I enjoyed making him. He was super cute. And his little tail here. He's super cute. But that I did notice, you know, in the camera there, it shows up much better than, like here, you can't really see too much. So I'm going to go back with that thread and just fix that up so that looks a little cleaner. But everything else I'm happy with. I'm happy with him. I think he turned out real cute. So I hope um, the person he's going to will be happy with him. Uh, but he turned out super cute. And I'm happy with that. And I've also made a little otter planter. Um, I don't have the little pots that I had in here. But um, you just put your little pot right there and the baby otter cuddles it up and keeps it warm. I mean, come on. But he was super cute. Um, now, he was made holding two strands together so it's thicker. And... Um, I like doing that. I like, I made a basket from uh, from a Jada and Stitches pattern, and it was double. I thought it was going to be so difficult, but this was way back when I started, and um, I enjoy the texture when you use more than one thread at a time, or more than one yarn at a time. So, I, I think he turned out really cute. He's just a little sleeping baby, and he's just super cute. And at the bottom, you do have a, a hole there, um, I guess, for your plant you know when you water it and stuff so it won't get so so watery on him but I'm, I'm happy with him he turned out so cute and another thing I have finished I know I've been on top of it guys is okay had someone want a Kentucky Wildcat there wasn't really a pattern that I could find for Kentucky Wildcat so I took a pattern for a kitty cat and we made this. How cute is this little fellow, though? And I think this is adorable. Got the little tail there. Um, but he turned out super cute. I love his little ears. I just pinched them together to make them look like that. Um, 
but he's just it's like a little baby wildcat and um this pattern was very it was very easy the um the only thing i had trouble with the legs the the way that the pattern has you has you crochet it doesn't really make sense with connecting the legs but uh, it's cool it's cool it all worked out it all worked out so but i'm tickled with him he's just a little baby kentucky wildcat so i hope i hope his person enjoys him as much as i do because i just think he's a doll baby look at this little thing he's a cutie okay <clears throat> excuse me guys um allergies um so the makes that i'm i'm working on right now i'm going to show some pictures up here of the patterns that i am working on right now i am in process of making enid and uh this is the same uh lady the the pattern maker here that made the wednesday pattern that i made of the wednesday doll and i'll show i'll try to show the wednesday doll as well that i finished so i'm glad of that that way they'll kind of match up i do believe enid is going to be a little bit smaller than wednesday i have yet to watch the show and i know i'm failing as a person in that but um i, I don't know if enid is maybe shorter than wednesday or what but i do think this doll is going to be smaller than wednesday but it is the same pattern maker so hopefully it'll go good um so we're in the process of enid right now i have the body and one arm working on another and uh, let's see after that i really want to start on this mothman because um someone special i made him a mothman and it got it got gone let's just say that so i want to make him a mothman but i didn't want to make it the same as before I wanted it to be a new Mothman with new memories, you know. So I'm I love this thing. Um, so I've already bought the yarn for it. I just um, the eyes. I I have huge safety eyes, but I don't have any huge red safety eyes. And I was talking about this on my last live. I think I'm just going to paint them, and um, hopefully it'll go well. We'll see. Um, if not. I'll just find somewhere where I can find some huge ass red safety eyes. But um I I think that I can paint them. I have some I have some pretty good paint that it doesn't, you know, come off really well. So I think I'm gonna um I may try that. I may try that. I think yeah, we may do that. So well that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway. And then I have some things that I want to, to work on as well. Um, I want to get started early for birthdays, holidays, and things. So um, I want to make this adorable witch for uh, someone for their birthday. I'm not going to say who, you know, like maybe they probably know, but I mean, <laughs> but she is too cute and i saw this and it was it was on sale and it was only like two dollars and something for the pattern i'm like that's mine because i know right now who would love this so i want to make this cute little witch look at her she is adorable and oh my god <laughs> so that's another one i want to get started on and i'm really really excited about this next one i have looked at green frog designs um on etsy the the most amazing dolls oh my gosh so um and i would i had really been wanting to make this particular doll right here i'm i'm getting out of frame here but i'm trying not to but um th this little doll right here this little fox baby doll here uh, well i for for my niece's birthday and i know as i talk about this on here and so she always knows what i'm doing because lily watches some of these but um oh I, I sent a bunch of pictures to my sister her mother to see what do you think would she like most you know and i'm sitting over here like please let it be that please let it be the green frog fox please let it be the green frog fox and she said she said she thought that that would be the one i was like yes you know because I, I wanted to make it so bad so i'm really excited to make um the green frog fox 
really excited about that. And um, because I have just, I have never made one of her patterns before. And I have, I just, I've loved them for so long. So I'm so excited about that. Um, and I think right now, those are the big things. I try to keep a list and I always screw it up. Um, there was another doll that I was thinking about for my mother. I am not going to put a picture of that up because I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. But that's just something going around in my head right now. And I'm trying to think if there was anything else. for there. There's something else kind of like a joke special thing. But I'm also not going to put that up here. Um, if when I make it, I will share it, of course. But... Um, it's just an idea right now there's i'm just flooded right now with ideas and uh, things that i want to make so i don't know i'm in creative overdrive at the moment and i really really want to make things i i want to create things right now so um i am and i'm coming like enid i think is the last the last thing that i have on my list as of right now that someone has ordered for me to make for them so after Enid and I all I love getting orders because you know I'm a single mother you know having a little side hustle helps a lot um, but I may have some time then before I get another order in to start on my little witch and my little green frog fox girl and um, my moth man and um, so it, it might be a blessing to not have another order after this for a little while but orders are always welcome guys it's just um you know i'm just thinking you know time and uh, of course right now you guys know we're working on the suggestive crochet and the the squid which still does not have a name i still don't have a name for him because he's just not there's not enough of him done yet uh, he has not spoke to me and give me his name okay so and and one other project i want to share with you guys um yeah hang on just a second so this is giuseppe just take a moment and enjoy giuseppe okay so my mother is a goodwill thrift store you know connoisseur is what she is and she saw this which as soon as i saw him i knew his name was giuseppe and she saw giuseppe here and thought carmen which i appreciate this this my mother knows me okay so she brought and i don't know he is of course it looks like a christmas animatronic um an old one and I'm in love with him. What I want to do though, and I I want your guys' help with this. Um, I want some ideas about, I want to turn him into a gnome. And I, I know he's already like an elf with the hat and everything. But I want to crochet him. I do want to keep his little booties though. I enjoy the booties. But um, I would like to crochet him an outfit more gnome-like okay and i want to remove this candle and uh, some kind of know me thing you know i'm guessing a tool of some kind you know uh something but i would love to hear your guys ideas for giuseppe because he is all he is my personal project this is just for carmen okay giuseppe is a carmen project this is completely for me because i love giuseppe and he needs to be he needs to be clothed correctly. I mean, look at this face, guys. Look at this face. So, we have to make Giuseppe just uh, the cutest gnome ever. So, please, please comment, message, whatever, with any um, ideas for Giuseppe. Because I'm super excited about making him, you know. Because these are, these are just old and done clothes here in this hat. It ain't cutting it, okay? Giuseppe, you itching my nose, son. So I'm going to set Giuseppe here because that's really terrifying for you guys. So I'm going to leave him right there. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's
it's awesome okay i'm sorry 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 <laughs> okay but so that's something i want to help with guys so please send me ideas about what we can do with giuseppe and um let's see i really think that's all that's going on at the moment crochet wise um i just it, you know i just got some things finished and um I wanted to get on here and I hadn't done a kitty chat in a while and I thought huh, oh, what the hell you know and uh, I wanted to also guys uh, Neil and I do have a PO box now so please feel free to send happy mail Neil loves getting cards so if anyone wants to send Neil a card please 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 he loves getting cards okay so that the PO box will be in the description box below of course and I also will include my email address for any questions, suggestions, what have you, okay? And also, if you want, do not feel like you have to. I also include a PayPal link if, for any donations. Don't expect a dime, though, okay, guys? But I do put that there in case. No big deal, okay? So, I guess that's it for this kitty chat. It has been a long time, so I'm... I'm glad to be back doing one, but it probably will be a while before I do another one because I have some ideas to do for different segments for the channel. So, but wanted to get on here and give you guys nightmares with Giuseppe. I love you, Giuseppe. And they do too. They're just scared. They just don't know you well. That's all it is. But thank you guys so much for watching. And... Please, of course, come back, like, and subscribe, and share with all your friends because I think they need to experience Giuseppe. I think everyone needs to experience Giuseppe. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, have an amazing week, and I love all of you. Thank you so much. Bye.